Chapter 3 River Standing by the river, I wonder, do I need a stone? No, my heart is heavy enough. It will drag me down for sure. Finally, I'm back home. I will be safe here. First of all, I should wa wash off all the horrible memories of this night. I'm dying for a shower, something to eat, some coffee, a cigarette. I'd love to see my cats too. Let's just pretend for a minute that everything is back to normal. I survived, after all. Maybe now I can try to enjoy little things in life? Okay, yeah, I can do this. One step at a time. She's looking a little bit bloody. <laughs> yeah, wow, what a night. It's interesting, there's a little bit of text in the top left of the screen that says, Take shower. Is that my quest log, sort of? I guess. Save the game, there we go. All right, yeah, let's take a shower first. Jesus, this place is a shithole. Turn on the lights, at least. Hmm, shower or a bath? Hmm... You know, I could use a good long soak. Let's take a bath. I think I'd better take a shower instead. Oh, fine. Jesus, didn't know you're so particular, Susan. Uh. Great. I must have run out of money on the electric meter. I can't take a shower in the dark. I must get the electricity back on. There should be some money in my bedroom. Red gauge shows Susan's mental state. It goes up whenever she gets upset. When it fills up, she will suffer a complete breakdown. Oh, hi, Indigo Prophecy. How are you doing? I didn't expect you in this game. Lucas! No! And there ends my story. I went crazy, and the police arrested me. Alright, well, I wonder how much... I mean, can I avoid stuff that... will make her break down with skill, or... I mean, how, how am I going to tell what's going to piss her off? I don't know. Let's just go for the money. Bedroom, bedroom, bedroom. Uh, let's close that. There we go. Oh, spare bedroom. That wouldn't be it. Bedroom. Whoops. That is one loud-ass clock. Ah, here we go. There's some loose change inside. I better take it. Five pounds. Is that all I've got left? Damn. I won't get any more money for at least another two weeks. But where have I spent it all? Oh, there's a pack of cigarettes here as well. 
You're coming with me, my little poisonous friends. What's this? Bills, 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 and more bills. How can I afford to pay these? I wish I'd never got out of that hospital alive. Well, that's not good. Now her meter has just risen. It was just a shadow. Now her meters, now her meters risen even more. If I turned on the lights, would I have been okay? I don't think I can, though, right? No, there's no money on the electric meter. Yeah, I couldn't have avoided that. Yeah, it's really interesting that, like, you pay for your electricity in this manner. I've... I've never seen that before. I've never even heard of that being a thing. It sounds really shitty. Like, it sounds miserable. You have to actually pay for it as you use it. It's really strange. To think that you could just be doing anything, and then your power just suddenly click. It's all dead. Like, you can be right in the middle of something, and then everything's just dead. Weird. It's an old electric meter. Instead of paying monthly bills, you simply put coins in the slot to credit the meter. There's no more credit left on it at the moment. Alright, cheese him. That should last for a few days. If I remember to switch the lights off when I leave the room. Uh, there's another meter? What, what is that? The happy... When Susan is happy and satisfied, when it fills up, she will be able to relax and get some rest. Okay. Simple enough. I wonder if I actually have to manage the light switches. I don't know, but for now, let's just take a shower. Or, yeah, take a shower. Turn on the light. Pull back the curtains. Take a shower. Standing by the river, I smile. Will I miss it all? No. I'll be glad to leave it behind and never come back. That feels better. Now I should grab some food. When was the last time I ate? I'm starving. Alright, well, now I'm not covered in blood anymore, so that's good. Uh, I should probably save frequently, just in case I suffer a breakdown. Don't want that to happen. Mm, grab some food, have coffee and a cigarette. Well, she didn't say she needs to go to the bathroom. But, maybe it's like Indigo Prophecy, where every time you go to the bathroom, it increases your happiness. So every single time you find a new toilet, go to it. Every single time you find a new place to give you water or coffee, go with it. Did it work? No, it didn't do anything. That was, t that was totally pointless. It was just a waste of time. And I still can't wash my hands, so that's gross. Well, I just went to the bathroom and took a shower, and I didn't wash my hands. Now I'm going to go prepare food. There we go. Alright, food and coffee. Uh, well, I suppose that would probably be in the kitchen. That's a safe bed, I think. Wait, where's the kitchen? 
I think I passed it. Yeah, it's right here on the right, isn't it? Yeah. Jesus, so dark. It's it's still so dark, even turning the lights on, it still looks fucking miserable. Alright, there's the kettle. Switch that thing. Oh, I gotta fill it up first. I know how to make coffee. I've never had an electric kettle, but I'd like one. Turn it on. Heat up the water. I'm assuming I'm making instant coffee, because otherwise you couldn't really make coffee in it. You would need, like, a coffee press or a drip thing to make coffee? Unless you like your coffee crunchy, in which case you could just put it directly in the water, but that wouldn't be very pleasant, would it? So, yeah, I need some... probably up here. Hmm. Why is everything in all caps? Take box of matches! Take tin canned food! Use coffee, friend, drink whitener! Why is everything suddenly in all caps? That's so weird. Uh... Take everything? Sure, why not? I should make a coffee first. Fair enough. I don't need it right now. Fair enough. So, wait, I don't actually have coffee yet, do I? No, I don't. What's in my fridge? <laughs> Take cheeseburger. Wait a minute, what? Where's the cheeseburger? I'm looking at the picture and I see no cheeseburger. I see what looks to be wine or some sort of alcohol in the door and then maybe milk? Yeah, milk. I see no cheeseburger. Maybe it's a cheeseburger of the mind. Take the cheeseburger. Take the milk. I need a mug of coffee first. Okay, fair enough. Alright, what the hell's my coffee? A cheap quarter pounder with cheese. Cookie instructions. Remove the packaging and place in a microwave oven. 800 watt oven. 60 seconds. 750 watt. 90 seconds. 6 cent Yep, okay. Gotcha. Mmm, still need coffee. But what the hell, let's make the food while I'm here. 800 watt, okay. So. 800 watts. Mean 60 seconds. Alright. Sixty seconds. Hmm 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 hmm. do do That was not sixty seconds. It was more like five or ten. Do 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 do. Of course, I'm actually glad. I didn't. I didn't really want to have to wait sixty seconds for it. Cooked burger. Mmm. Tastes like mediocrity. All right, a bit happier. I still need some damn coffee. Well, hold on, wait a minute. It says make coffee. I mean, I don't have coffee, but maybe it's like next to it. I need an empty mug. Wait, but where's the coffee? I don't. I don't get it. I don't see any coffee. Anyway, I need a mug. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Got to turn off the light. Why? Why do you have to select? on and off for the light switch. It's a light switch. Like, it's binary. It's on and off. Just, just have it switch. Why give you the option to switch it to the same thing it's already set to? The light is already on. I know that. I want, I want to switch the switch. Let's take a look at my stuff. Make a call. Call who? No thanks. cabinet. An old cabinet where I keep books, mail, magazines, and wine glasses. 
I can't remember the last time I used these. I haven't had a drink since Eric. Does that mean she used to get drunk all the time because of Eric? I'm assuming that was her husband. Doesn't sound like that relationship went too well. I use this old piano to summon my cats. They come when they hear me playing. Unfortunately, so do the neighbors sometimes. <laughs> summon the cats. I summon thee. Come to eat at my domain. I just love the fact that she said summon. It just sounds so cool. Like, she's not just a cat lady, but she's like a, a cat, I don't know. A, something special. She has special powers. Do I want to play it? No, not right now. I can feed them later. I need coffee. Hmm. Laundry ra- oh, there's a mug. Alright, well this place looks miserable. Some bowls. These are for my cats. I always put the food out for them once they're here. I'll examine the rest of the stuff later. Let's just focus on the, uh, the main thing right now. Wait, did I leave the light on? I did. Alright. Mm, do I just do make coffee or do I use the mug in it first? No, I think I just do make coffee. It's nearly done. But I don't drink black coffee. Wait a minute, where did, where did the coffee come from? A kettle is just... It just heats up water. Where's the actual coffee? I don't understand. Unless there's some sort of a super fancy electric kettle that... Does the coffee part for you? I'm pretty sure that thing just heats up water. It, okay. Anyway, let's get some milk. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hmm. You know what? <laughs> I'm using my, um... I'm remembering... I'm remembering back to when I watched someone else play a bit of this game. And I have a vague memory that if you'd use the milk on the coffee, the milk is actually bad and it ruins her coffee and ruins her day. Or something like that. So you know what? Instead, I'm gonna I'm gonna use the uh, the white and uh, drink whitener stuff because that can't go bad. <laughs> it's called coffee friend instead of coffee mate. Coffee buddy, coffee friend, coffee mate. Now it's a perfect mug of coffee. Can I use more? I still haven't drunk the first one. Oh, but I want a super white. Okay, it's wide enough. Mm. It says have coffee and a cigarette. Like, at the same time. Well, I'm assuming she does that on the balcony since that's where her mug was. Whoops, didn't turn off the light. So, let's go do that, I guess, on the balcony. Damn bird again. Go away! Shoo! <laughs> the crow. Great. Wow, I'm actually really high on my stress meter. Let's go ahead and save the game. Fuck off. I said fuck off. You little shit. Fine, fine, whatever. Have a smoke. The bird keeps staring at me with its evil eye. Could it be the same bird I saw in the woods? I must get rid of it. I can't relax while it's here. Okay, fair enough. It is a bit disconcerting. I used to hang my clothes here to dry when the weather was good. It's broken now. Like everything else in this damn flat. 
Alright, I need something... I, I don't know, a stick? Something long to swat it away with? So let's just take a look around. Yep, have a seat. Alright, that was a good sit down. Lovely. Hmm. Don't think I want to open the window. Vents. These are for my cats. If the windows are shut, they can always enter through the vents. Oh. That's kind of creepy. The cat, the stray cats come in through your vents? Okay. Turn that on. Check out the spare bedroom. Yeah, I should probably close that. I thought I'd put it away. Damn thing. I wish it'd just disappear. But here it is. Reminding me of the past. Oh no, that's not gonna make her meter go up, is it? Oh god. Okay, one more and she's gonna have a freaking breakdown. It used to be a pretty shirt once. But that was about 15 years ago. What am I gonna do with a shirt? I can't even close this window. Well, fuck you then, bear. How funny in your drafty room. What is even going on in this painting here? The one right behind me. That one. What is that? Some creepy alien psycho murderer monster thing. Why the hell would you want that on your wall? What's in the closet? The hell was that that just fell? A damn ball falls off the shelf every time I open the door. I should get rid of it. Well, at least that didn't increase her stress meter. Just some clothes and shoes. I don't need any of these. All right. My bag, already looked through it. There's nothing useful left in there, just some old rubbish I should have gotten rid of ages ago. Let's close this too. Most of them are gifts from old friends. People that have long forgotten about me. I can hardly remember them too, to be honest. It all happened in another life, in another time. The one with the clouds I actually painted myself. I think I liked it then. Now, I can't even look at it. Kitty cat clock. At some point in my life, I must have thought it could... I could fill the empty gap with this cat-related junk. Sometimes I think it's actually this clock that keeps me awake with the constant bobbing back and forth. But I never had a heart to get rid of it. Set the alarm? Sure. Why would I want to do that? It's not like I've got a job to go to, or someone to meet. Time has no meaning to me anymore. True enough. Alright, let's hope nothing pisses me off before I find a stick or something to shoot away with. What am I going to do with this thing? I'm not sure what to do with this old rag. <laughs> Neither am I. Actually, is there anywhere I haven't been yet? I mean, there's a phone, but I'm not going to use that. It's not going to help me. Hmm. Oh, was a hat. Cool, I have a hat. Oh, I actually picked up the volleyball. Eh. Uh, it's an old hat. I can't remember why I bought it. 
but I wouldn't be caught dead wearing this ugly thing. Am I gonna make a scarecrow or something? I'm gonna make a scare I'm gonna make a scarecrow, aren't I? On that laundry thing. I think I am. It is a crow, and I do need to scare it away, I I guess. I guess it makes sense. Alright. Laundry rack scarecrow, here we go. <laughs> I am. Alright, let's give it a hat. Not a bad idea, but something's still missing. What the head? Uh, did it work? Shoo! Yeah, That's fuck right. off. And don't ever come back, you horrible creature. Miss Scarecrow here is going to guard this home from the likes of you. Excellent. I wonder if scarecrows actually work. I have no idea. Anyway, alright. I'm back in my old life. But how can I restore what's been broken for years? So far, nothing seems to go right. Every little thing is against me. Maybe it's my destiny to lose after all. And now those parasites? Like if it wasn't enough. But I killed Dr. X. And I saved somebody's life. That felt good. It's getting late. I should summon the cats now. I want to see them tonight. Standing by the river, I close my eyes. One jump, and I'm there. No. Someone jumped after me. He will never be my friend. Cats always pay a visit when I play the piano. It's really late. But do I really care? I think I kind of have to. I mean, yeah, it says summon the cats, so what else can I do? Alright, I wonder what kind of a tune Susan Ashworth is going to play to summon her cat minions. Maybe a jaunty ragtime tune? Go for it, Susan. my darlings. I've missed you. And who's that? Teacup. I bet you thought you'd never see me again. Well, make yourselves at home. Dinner is ready to be served. This music is really good. I love that she started playing and then the sound, like the soundtrack just kind of kept going and developed it and added instruments and now it's just playing without her. Really cool transition there. And again, the actual song is really, really good. Okay, um... I think I need to go out to the balcony, right? That's where the bulls are. Actually, wait a minute. Do we need a can opener? 
Need to put in the cat pool. Chicken and gravy for cats. Nice. Alright, I guess it's got a whole tab or something. Come on, everybody. Gather around. It's time for dinner. There we go. My kitties. You never eat my food, teacup. Already had your dinner, have you? No, I get it. I know. You're a good friend. The best friend I have, really. The only friend in the whole fucking world. You come over to keep me company and want nothing in return. I appreciate it. You should know. If you could know what I've been through lately. I've been to hell and back, my boy. But I'm here now. In my flat. Alive. And it's still the same mess that it's always been. I'm not sure how to deal with all this anymore. Don't know if I can. I wish I could be like you. At peace with the world. Always smiling. Someone's at the door. But who could it be so late at night? I think that's someone complaining about the noise, probably. Which means I might be about to have a breakdown, if that raises my meter anymore. But I don't really have much of a choice, do I? Are you out of your mind? Do you know what time it is? We've all had it with you and your bloody cats! Well, he's a bit irate. Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disturb anyone. I don't think it's going to calm him down, but let's try. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disturb anyone. Some of us have to get up early for work. You think it's okay to make noise at this time of the night? Oh, come on. Don't exaggerate. I did play the piano, but only for a minute or two. Enough to wake me up! And this is not the first time, either! If this happens again, you'll see pest control stepping in, and it won't be pretty! <laughs> I could just outright insult him. Get lost, you bald, ugly man. No. I didn't realize it was so late. I won't do it again. Maybe you should get yourself a bloody watch then, yeah? There are other people living here, you know. People with jobs. If this happens again, you'll see pest control stepping in, and it won't be pretty. Okay, fine. I'll keep it down. Good night. Damn cat lady. They should lock her up somewhere. Fucking nutcase. Um. Um. That's not good. In my head it's like hell. What's about to happen? I don't feel I've got the what is she doing? I'm not in control of her right now. She's not gonna go like jump off the balcony, is she? She's not. She's not going out to the. Mm hmm. Um. Still doing her own thing. What is she doing? It 
It's like hell And I don't feel I've got the Standing by the river, I'm thinking. Will I jump again? No. Behind the closed doors, I have fallen in love with the razor. So... What just happened? Was that- do I have to restart the chapter or is that the end of it? What chapter was that? Was that chapter 3? Bullet for Susan. Oh. I guess it's the next chapter. What would have happened if that didn't happen? Because there's one of the things I did that I could have- Wait, no, I couldn't have avoided it. I don't think you can avoid it. Pest control. Why is the best control man dragging a body? I've slept all night, and most of the day. Why am I still feeling tired? Someone's at the door. I really hope it's not him again. Alright, so what the hell just happened? A lot of things just happened. I'm coming. I'm coming, just wait.
God, do you think it's an emergency with how fast how much they're pounding the door? Let's turn on the light. Hello, Ms. Ashworth. How are you? Are you feeling better? Do I know you? Of course. You don't remember me. My name is Mitzi Hunt. We met a few days ago. You were out cold at the time. Those pills you had worked real good. You probably had one too many, mind you. I think I had a couple dozen too many. Alright, so you're my daughter, right? The one who claimed to be my daughter. So it's you. I had a feeling you'd turn up sooner or later. It is me, indeed. A girl who got in the way and fucked everything up. I'll let her stand if you're angry at me. It wouldn't surprise me if you blame me for calling the ambulance and saving your life, but... I had other reasons for it, too. Personal reasons. It's important. It's important. That's why I came here the other night. To talk to you. And why would you want to? Why would you want to talk to me? It makes no sense. I saw the ad you'd put in the paper. It seems you have a room to rent. I... They still print that? It was months ago. Nobody ever called. I forgot all about it. I gave up on it, actually. Well, I'd like to be your lodger, Miss Ashworth. But... You've got the room, and I've got the money. Won't that work for both of us? I'm very tidy. I don't make much noise, and I promise not to spend too long in the bathroom in the morning. I don't really... I read your suicide note, you know. I'm sorry, but I did. I understand that you like your loneliness. You stray from people. I get it. But I won't get in the way. I promise I will give you your space. You won't even know that I'm here half the time. What do you think? Do we have a deal? Well, I guess I could do with some extra money, but... Great! Can I come in? Right, so she's being nice to me too, so I'm guessing she's also probably a crazy murderer. But yeah, about this daughter thing. You said you were my daughter at the hospital. You're a little liar, aren't you? How can I trust you? How should I know you won't slit my throat when I sleep? Jesus, what's wrong with you? Slit your throat? Why are you always so suspicious of people? If I wanted to do such a thing, I would never have bothered saving you, would I? Just think about it for a second. I was trying to avoid all the stupid questions. I didn't know what else to say. That seemed like an easy option at the time. Otherwise, they wouldn't have let me come in the ambulance with you. And I wanted to see if you've made it. Alright, fair enough. But how did you get in? Yeah, how did you get in? I was in here alone. How did you get in that night? I'm sure I locked the door. Well... Okay, I'll tell you. You won't like it, probably, but I'll tell you. I picked the lock. You did what? Look, I know it sounds like I'm some sort of criminal, but believe me, I'm not. My dad was a master locksmith. He knew everything there was to know about locks. He taught me some of that stuff, too. Look, I've got this little box. I always carry it with me. There are a few types of lock picks in it. They're very expensive. Custom made. It's now the only thing that reminds me of him. I see. But you know, it does sound like your father was really a burglar, not a locksmith. It's not important anymore. 
I guess it isn't. But what gave you an idea that you can pick the lock on my front door and just barge in uninvited? I heard the cats. They were going crazy. It was like if all hell broke loose inside. The noise they made. It was incredible. Like ghosts howling. And for a while, it turned into an almost human cry. Well, anyway, I kept banging on the door, but you were already asleep. In a coma or whatever. So I pulled out a sea rake and got the door open. I... You could say I had a hunch. A hunch? Great. I had a hunch that something was very wrong. And I made no mistake, did I? This spare room I have is pretty bad, you should know. I'm not fussy. It's not for long anyway. Just a few weeks, maybe. Anything is better than what I've got at the moment. Which is? I slept at the train station last night. There's a guy there who docks rats. You should see him. Wait, can you even afford rent for the room? Sure. I'll pay you for two months in advance. Money's not an issue. Why not go to a hotel then? I hate hotels. More than train stations. With homeless weirdos. And rats. Robbie? Oh no, he's cool. He's alright. And he kept the rats away. Yeah, your story doesn't really check out. If money's not an issue, why didn't you just s stay at a place that's not a shithole like this? Why do you want this room so much? Why do you want this room so much? Let's face it. This flat's falling apart. It's cold. It's dark. It's a bit moldy. This is the old part of town where nothing ever happens. It's far from the city center, and there are only two buses going through here, and that's if you're lucky. And I'm known around here as a fucked up, wicked cat lady. They'd burn me at the stake if they could. They'd put me in a bag and drown me in the river like a litter of kittens. I'm not exactly great company for a young girl like yourself. Who are they? People, just people. I don't give a fuck about people, Miss Ashworth. But I do like cats. You think they'll smell the rats on me? Really shower. I I think you'll change your mind when you see it. I'm sure you'll change your mind when you see it. I'd love to see it. And I'm sure it isn't as bad as you picture it. The window is stuck and it doesn't shut properly. It's all right, I like fresh air. There's clutter everywhere. I'll tidy up. It's got a funny smell. I'll burn some joysticks to cover it up. I love joysticks. Fine. I give up. Follow me. You can see it for yourself, if you're so stubborn. All right, come see your new room. Which last time I was in here had a creepy bear on it. This room is perfect. <laughs> really? What about all this clutter? I'll move some stuff to the side if that's okay with you. But most of it I can use. All I really need is a bed to sleep and a roof over my head to calm me from that rain. And a power outlet so I can charge my laptop. Oh, and somewhere to watch, too. You got a shower, right? I'm dying for a shower. Okay. I... What are you gonna do with your laptop? I don't think I have any Wi-Fi around here. <laughs> are you a part of that emo subculture? <laughs> what the hell kind of a question is that? Uh, you're on some kind of trouble, are you? It does kind of seem like she's on the run from the law, maybe. Maybe. Hmm. You mentioned some personal reasons for staying. And if she says, well, they're personal for a reason she doesn't want to tell me, well, I can tell her, hey, you know, you saw me try to commit suicide, so 
You already know quite a bit about me, and you read my suicide note, so... You mentioned some personal reasons for staying here. Yes. It's a long story, though. I don't really want to bore you with all that personal crap. Okay. In that case, could you give me the short version? Yeah, alright. I'm looking for someone. I don't really know this person. But it's a... Friend of a friend. I only ever talk to this guy online, so... I don't know what he looks like. I love this lamp, does it work? What was I talking about? Oh, yes. I don't know what he looks like, but I know my way around computers. I managed to track him down. Turns out he lives here, in this building somewhere. What I don't know is which flat he lives in. There are eight flats here altogether. He's in one of them, and I must just figure out which one. It shouldn't be too hard. What do you want from this person? I just want to talk to him. He said something... really bad. Something horrible. I need to talk to him to get closure, you know? Just talk. Are you sure? Yep. I want to meet face to face with him. That's all. Right, well that sounds strange and a bit shady. Anyone I can contact for references? Is there anyone I can contact? For references? Well, I've never really rented a room before, so not really. I've lived with my mum all my life. Until recently, that is. I could give her a call. Oh, that would be a perfect spot for my post up there. Um, yeah, sh sure, that'd be okay. Alright, well, I do have a phone at least, so I could do that much. Are you in some kind of trouble? You're not in some kind of trouble, are you? Do I really look like some kind of a serial murderer to you, Miss Ashworth? I don't know. What do serial murderers look like anyway? A scar across the face, an eye patch, rough stubble. Those sort of things, I guess. That's a pirate you've just described. <laughs> just add a wooden peg leg and we've got a full picture. But who knows? I'm no expert on murderers. Not yet, anyway. I feel like I'm about to be. Oh, apparently I have to ask her if she's part of that emo subculture. Okay. Are you a part of that emo subculture? Please don't say that word ever again. Oh no, this is just how I dress. I grew up listening to real rock and roll, not that emo crap. I hate to be a part of that generic bandwagon. Okay, clearly a sensitive subject for you. You know, people seem to think that just because someone dresses in black, they're called a emo. You can't generalize like that. It's more complicated. I dress in black too. Of course! That's because black is the best color. Period. You know, you've been asking me all these questions and I never had a chance to ask about how you're feeling. I mean, you've just gone through a terrible experience. You barely survived. I suppose I might be out of line to ask you this. But I'm really curious as to why you tried to kill yourself. What made you do that? What did you feel? Oh, it's a long story. Long story. Won't bore you with this personal crap. Ha <laughs> Right back at me, I guess. I'd give you a short version, though. Yes, but somehow I can't help the feeling that you've omitted a few important facts. Just some details. Anyway, I suppose your story is of the kind that can't be shortened. Still, if you feel like talking about it sometimes, I'd love to listen. I'll bear that in mind, Mitzi. Let's go back to the living room. Room's great! So what do you say, Miss Ashworth? Uh, that's not good. I hope you're not gonna change your mind about this. Miss Ashworth? What the hell?
What happened? Are you all right? Go away. You have to go away right now. But why? Miss Ashwood, what's wrong? The Queen of Maggots just whispered something in her ear. You're not safe here. You should leave. Now. Please, Miss Ashworth, I'd really like to stay. Don't throw me out now. Well, you can't stay. You can't. If you don't go, something terrible's gonna happen to you. Please, just leave me alone. I was perfectly happy before you came. I have my cats. I have... I... Just stay away from me. What? Are you deaf? Did I not make myself clear? This is not a good place for you. Where am I gonna go? It's late and, and it's pouring down with rain. I don't give a damn where you go. You can go back to the bloody train station for all I care. Anywhere. Anywhere but here. You were one of them. I knew it. What are you talking about? Look, just try to relax. Everything's okay. But why you? Why would you want to do this to me? You have no reason. Calm down. I'm not going to do anything to you, all right? I just want to rent a room. Nothing else. I promise. Damn, I even swear. I won't cause you any trouble, okay? Just take a deep breath. Please explain to me what's happened. I'm a little confused here. Then... Maybe... Oh, no. 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 You're going to die. I know. Yeah, I know. But how did you know, Miss Ashworth? Are you some sort of a psychic? Do you possess some kind of supernatural mind-treating abilities? Or is it just so fucking obvious? What do you mean? I... I don't know how you're going to die, but... Call it a hunch, if you like. That's cool. A hunch. Well, I do. I know exactly. It's already started, as a matter of fact. Do you want to see? I'll show you. Here, Miss Ashworth. Take a good look, because I'm not going to do it again. I think we're back to the pest control. It's time to wake up my little pussy cat. What's the matter, sleepyhead? Had a bad dream? Uh, do you want me to give you a cuddle and a kiss? Take the nightmares away? What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? <laughs> well, don't you worry, my sweetest. I know a thing or two about pussy cats. I can help. What do you say? Shall I take a good look at this pussy of yours? <laughs> well, this isn't good. 
how the hell did I get here? Like, when, when is this taking place? I don't even know. But I do know I need to get the hell out of here. Well, I do know I can't die, though. You're a dead man. You're a dead man. You just don't know it yet. I'll cut your throat open and watch you bleed to death. I'll feed your body to the crows. Oh, you're gonna regret this, pal. What's going on in there? Who is this? Did you play with this little bitch behind my back? Cause if you did, I swear to God. Me? I'd never do that. You know me, honey. You're the only girl for me. This lady here will join us for dinner. That's all. For what? Take the goddamn mask off when you talk to me. You know damn well I can't stand it. And make sure you put it back in the van so you don't fucking lose it again. Okay, okay. I was just saying, uh, she, she's here for dinner. Good. Dinner. I'm starving. And I'm sick to death of them bloody cats. You nasty little whore. Trying to seduce my husband in my own home. How bloody rude. What the fuck is going on? Well, I can deny it, but she's obviously not going to believe me. Who the fuck are you? Shut up, you stupid bitch! I know what you're up to. You kept staring at him with these big green eyes. You want him, don't you? You think you can take him from me? Well, I've got just the thing. I always keep this bottle handy. It's bleach. The strongest you can get. You give me no choice. I can't risk losing him. I have to make sure he won't be attracted to you anymore. You won't need these eyes and this face much longer anyway. Oh God. No one will do it right if you don't do it yourself. Guess I'm going to come back to life. Wait, am I Am I playing as the cat? What? I'm pl <laughs> I'm playing as the cat in the top left. What the Oh, I can run to push the cage off. I'm actually playing as a cat? Whoa, this is really neat. And also, what the fuck is happening? There's a lot of stuff happening, and it's very disturbing. And, yeah. 